Hello, everyone. Mr. Stearns here. Just wanted to wrap things up. We're finishing up uh, lesson 33 right now. Um, I would assume that most people are going to start turning in their work on, well, since the window opens today, I would guess that a few of you will turn it in today. Some of you will turn it in Monday, but the majority of you will turn it in Tuesday. Anything after Tuesday and you're causing yourself a problem. Remember, you have the power to push start, pause, and stop. That makes all the difference. I'm getting lots of emails from parents because kids are falling behind. Here's a question for you. How in the world do you fall behind in my class? Don't you have plenty of time in school to do the work? Is the problem the work, your work ethic, your organization of your work in a planner? Or are you talking to friends too much and not getting your work done? There, there's really no reason to fall behind in this class. If you're failing, something's wrong and it has to do with your work ethic, okay? That's the issue. If you need my support, as always, my Zoom opens about 6.15 every day. How come you're not there, okay? I shouldn't hear from parents before I hear from students. And that's what's happening right now. Parents are wondering, what's going on with my child? How come they're falling behind? And my Zoom meeting with them at 6.30 in the morning just says, uh, it's not possible to fall behind unless you're just not doing the work. There, there's no way. It's not possible. Okay, so let's take a look to see what where we're at. Let's go to the textbook. Finishing up lesson 33, the window opens today, November 10th, and ends on the 17th next week, Friday. But again, the whole idea is to, we're moving baby steps toward the first due date because that is the original due date. That is the real due date. So the goal is to use this marking period to inch your way back to figuring out how to get closer to that first due date. That's the strategy or skill for life that you're going to really need, guys. It's not about the grade. It's about can you figure out how to get your stuff in on time? And really that has to do with a planner work ethic, and your attitude about how much time you're going to waste with friends. That's really the bottom line. There's no getting around it in this class. It's so obvious. You have all the information you need on power school description. You have the access to the information on Schoology. You have plenty of time in school. My Zoom is available every day. You have Saturday school. What's the excuse, guys? Feel me? Okay, from here. <clears throat> Mr. Ferries is going to come in at some point and talk about these two um, chapters. We're going to skip ahead. Mr. Ferries is an amazing historian and a parent of one of my students. He comes in every year almost and does a kind of like a diorama on steroids, usually about Mesopotamia. But since we've started from the back and moving toward cave people this time, he's going to take on the whole idea of moving from a Roman Republic to an empire, probably talk about daily life, which means that we're going to start next week, 36. So while you're finishing up 33, we will be starting 36 and adding new work from our ISN. Now, do you see what the problem is? Yeah, you're not doing the work on the, at the right time. You're waiting until we start the next lesson and at that time, I'm giving you more work. Don't you see how it's piling up? Just like putting work into a wheelbarrow. It just piles up. That's why you've got to start the first day or second day. You can't get around it. Okay, so our whole idea is let's connect Christianity. And we're going to do this part as a class. We'll read everything and we'll actually do most of the work together. You might have some work to do in your ISN. That would be practice. It's not graded. It would absolutely help you if you turned it in with the next lesson. If you stapled it to 37, that's the next lesson that I'm going to collect for a grade. And if you stapled it, it would help you, but it's not going to hurt you if it's not there. Does that make sense? Okay, so if you're looking for challenge points, put your work in there and show me that you're working, that you're doing your assignments, that even though there's no points assigned to it, you always do it. Because that's what you would do in a sports league. You know that. You wouldn't say to your coach, I'm not going to do that practice throw in. Okay. So when we get to 37, we'll be, as always, going through everything, looking at the pictures before we read. We always study the vocabulary. We don't memorize them. We study them. Okay. And then we look for main ideas. 
we highlight stuff. This is before we work, parents. How can you not do well in this class? Okay, so 37 goes along with ISN pages at the end. I think it's like 200 and there it is right there, guys. There it is. 265. 265 is an opinion. And you just have to kind of think like a social scientist. So there are wrong answers. It depends on how you state it. Does that make sense? Okay, you can have an opinion. Just state, back it up with evidence. Now, when we get into 37, notice that up in the corner, it tells you what section that the answers are in. Just go to that section. So the first one, let's go to section one. It says all of the answers right here, guys, are in section one. So why aren't you doing the reading for section one there? Do you see what I'm saying? And when you get down below here, it says section two. Watch this. This is amazing. Watch. Boom, boom. All of the answers are there. And that's true as you keep moving forward. Right here is three. At the bottom of this page right here, 267 is section four. Watch how I get to section four. It's very exciting. Watch. Amazing. So all of the answers for sure are right there, guys. Read it appropriately. Look at the picture. Look for vocabulary. Hit the main ideas. Do you see what I mean? Okay. And then when you get to the last page, notice that they're starting to ask you in section five to start to connect it to a, like a timeline. Calendars are kind of like timelines. Let's go down below and see if they have that here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See how they're the same? This is the same as what's on the online version. So if you ever lose this, there's a PDF version of it online in PowerSchool and on Schoology, but you can always do it on the online TCI and print it off, okay? But I need print offs from now on. That trying to find it online as a teacher took me hours and it just didn't work and it wasn't worth my time. Does that make sense? Okay, and then when we get to the processing, Processing is really the only thing that's not really in the book. They're asking you to go through all of the different sections, everything that you've already learned here about Christianity. And they're asking you to, now, please write a paragraph. And this is the only part of the processing that I need you to do. Skip the first part where it says, look at the right side of the T chart, forget that. Go down to the bottom. This is what I want you to do, and I prefer you to do it on the computer so you can connect it to a, a spell checker. Feel me? Okay, the question is, in the space below, explain three important ways that Christians' lives were shaped by their beliefs and practices. So if you're going to start that out, you might want to say, Christians' lives are shaped radically by their Christian beliefs and practices, period. And then you would kind of go along and tell about three different ways that their practices and beliefs impact their lives. Think about the golden rule. That's always important to all those religions. And then when you're finished with that, you're gonna just make an uh, in, uh, evidence folder and you're gonna turn it back in just like we always do, right over there to the turn in box, right over there in that cupboard. See that? Okay. All right. So hopefully this marking period, you start to figure out all that idea of moving back toward the first due date. That's the key. If you put it off to the end, we'll have already overlapped and started a new assignment. That's really the problem. You're not starting early enough and you're talking with your friends. Solve the problem or deal with the consequences, guys. Much love. I look forward to working with you on tying in Christianity to Rome, okay? And we will do 36 as a class for practice, no points. If you add that information in with your 37 work for your ISN, that'll count for extra points, challenge points. Does that make sense? Because I'm challenging you to do it and turn it in even though you're not getting any points. That's gonna help me see your learning. Does that make sense? Fall forward, guys. I'm working on that too. Okay, here we go, moving toward Christianity. Boy, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to connect this to the Hebrews and talk about all of the Abrahamic religions using the tree of monotheism that this school is made of. Take care, guys. 10 minutes, not bad for an introductory lesson. See you guys. I'll send in more information as it develops. Bye-bye, parents.